<sighs> Flash movie finally came out after so many years in development and so much hype surrounding it. Uh, you know, it's a pretty solid movie. It must be making a ton of money in the box office. Uh, I'll go check how much it made so far. God damn. Now, the, I guess, underperformance of The Flash can be but muddled down to just, like, very set numerous reasons. Specifically, you know, the fact that the movie's starring a criminal. For some reason, they thought it was a good idea to show a bunch of early screenings you know, all the way from, like, CinemaCon to, like, a couple weeks before the film came out, so it just got spoiled to death. People are done with the DCEU because James Gunn already announced his reboot before any of these DC 2023 movies already came out. Somewhat divisive from what I hear from, like, different reviews of, like fans across different medias now i'm not celebrating the underperformance of the flash and warner brothers losing money like some other people but i do really hope that warner brothers executives and the people at dc studios look at this and realize hey modern audiences whether it's like normies average people or combo fans alike we are done with the dceu any future projects except for like aquaman 2 that movie can go die i don't care but especially for like blue beetle if there's any remnants or tie-ins or cameos or references to the old dceu i'm telling you now cut them out because dc just needs a complete rebrand and in my opinion a hard reboot if the flash box office proves anything it shows you that there's just no point in trying to salvage this universe and trying to continue it with like the same actors like you gotta wipe the slate clean there's just no benefit for warner brothers or dc studios to keep someone like ezra miller as the flash because a do she be locked up and b the film doesn't project to be doing too well in the box office so it's because I know they were probably going to justify keeping him by saying, oh, look uh, how the, well the Flash is doing, considering they were so confident. And if it's like, dude, people aren't pulling up like you expected to. There's no point in keeping him. Move on. Just recast. It's easier for everybody. Like the way Warner Brothers has fundamentally destroyed the DC brand over the past decade should be documented because this is just absolutely insane. And just goes to show you that James Gunn's DCU really needs to make it clear on how it differentiates from the previous universe. And for a film like Blue Beetle, if you want it to make any sort of revenue or have it get the opportunity to break even, I think either maybe if they're able to do it like a convention, like a Comic Con or some grand announcement, when it comes to like, hey, uh, Blue Beetle's coming out, this is a completely brand new universe, it's in the DCU, he's the first character, has nothing to do with the DCEU, you need to make that very apparent in the marketing, and maybe people might pull up, I don't know, but because the budget for the blue beetle film is so low it's like around 120 million it's a lot easier for a movie like that to break even to be quote-unquote profitable but i think if they could just find some way to make it clear in the market like this is the new dcu or at least the continuity of this movie fits in this new continuity you know people might pull up because when it comes to this hard reboot i mean everybody gotta go including jason momoa's aquaman listen i like you know gal Gadot as wonder woman i like jason momoa's aquaman but if you got rid of the golden boy henry cavill everybody gotta go that's including ben ezra i'm sorry y'all gotta go uh, i i i y'all i can't have y'all stay here if wb slash dc studios wants any chance of success you gotta get a brand new face for everybody every hero every justice league member you have to write the slate clean because flash's box office right now is telling you even if the movie is solid or if people think it's trash or whatever people don't really care anymore about this dceu bro it's like it's time to move on and when it comes to like something like maybe jason momoa's aquaman i think they're really gonna be dependent on the box office which i do not see doing well at all it's not even gonna make like more than half of the box office of the first one there's just no way aquaman and lost kingdom makes like 700 plus million there's no in no reality throughout the multiverse and whether you have an issue with these films or not you can't really Really blame someone like James Gunn considering these 2023 films were so far into development before James Gunn was even on board to take over DC Studios because I mean if I were in that position I would just probably cancel films like Aquaman 2 but because they were already you know shot and whatnot like you can't pull too many Batgirls so it's just like you might as well just release and at least get some revenue off of it there hasn't been a single DCEU film that's been profitable to like a high degree since Aquaman in 2018 every single film after that 
none of them have hit like minimum of 500 million in the box office it's kind of sad that just lets you know it's like they've tarnished this brand so badly average folk just aren't pulling up like that which is why i think it's crucial for them to let average folk know that a film like blue beetle will fit in the new continuity because it's still not necessarily giving off old dceu vibes but like other than like us comic nerds who are like really you know prevalent on like news and updates and stuff like that if they could just implement that in their marketing somehow i don't know if this is a hot take or not i personally don't really care or mind if he doesn't decide to like recast the suicide squad or peacemaker cast because i just don't think that has like a huge impact on the stability of the universe but minimum of that you have to recast like the major heroes like i don't think a single justice league member actor should carry over into this new universe everybody everybody has to be a new face everybody has to be a new actor in my opinion at least it just works better for longevity's sake especially if you're trying to have the same actors in live action play these characters in like animation or even video games for that matter across all different mediums if you're trying to really expand this dcu for the next eight to ten years now i know i've made this abundantly clear over my previous videos but i am very much ready for this reboot new batman new superman new wonder woman new justice league give me a new everything i mean if you want to keep the suicide squad characters peacemaker that's uh, fine i don't i'm not trying to sound like a hypocrite or anything but it's like keeping those actors i think is just inconsequential considering they kind of were st st stuck in their own corner of the dc universe well i guess that's kind of true for the most part except for those cameos they end up peacemaker so that might cause some issues i'm not sure we'll have to wait and see